Yeah, well, spotted tree frogs were last known to be alive in Buffalo in 1983. And there was only a couple individuals at that stage. And through lots of surveying since, we've confirmed that they've actually extinct at that site thereafter. So it's been many moons since they were last recorded in that location. We'd raised concerns about the plight of the the, the population and actually rescued a, a small number of individuals so the benefit of getting some animals into captivity has been really proven to be really worthwhile and the beauty of captive breeding is we're able to avoid some of the pitfalls of natural environments and particularly the predation and issues which normally happens at that critical egg to tadpole phase and we sort of leapfrog that element and in captivity we're able to maximise the, the um, output of young. We've picked a spot that we know to be fantastic habitat and the, the key elements of that is that we know it to be a former location so that they were once there and uh, importantly it's in a reasonably intact catchment and it's part of a national park so Buffalo National Park is is a really um, well managed area through the good work of our partner agency Parks Victoria they've done a lot of work to ensure that that particular catchment and the creek lines involved are free of weeds. The other critical element of the, the release site is that we know it to be free of the, the deadly frog fungus, which is an amphibian fungus called chytrid. And so we've undertaken lots of work to establish that that's the case. So there's ongoing monitoring, which will pretty much happen straight away, almost uh, within a couple of weeks of the release, we're going to be getting back in to, to do some surveying and we'll therefore be able to clarify not only survival, but movements and we can ultimately relate those individuals back to who they were paired with and what what their um, parentage was so we can understand um, whether there was particular cohorts of breeding that were more successful so the monitoring regime will be happening for uh, ongoing summers and it involves doing both day and night surveying